Hi students, welcome to my channel. This is light in the physics. This is for the 10th standard students. In the light, I discuss what is the plane mirror, how image forms in the plane mirror, and what must be the minimum height of the mirror required to see your complete image. That part also discussed in this video. And concave mirrors. What is a concave mirror? What are the parameters involved in the concave mirror? What is the pole? What is focal point? What is radius of curvature? How image forms by the concave mirror? That part discussed in this video. Please keep watching. Okay. See here. This is plane mirror. Daily we see mirror, no? To see your face, how you are looking, handsome or not, beautiful or not, whatever it is. This is a plane mirror. This side is rough surface. This side is actual mirror where you are seeing your face. Here, O oh no, O oh means object. Means you are standing in front of the mirror to see your face or body, whatever it is. To find the image of your face or anything, object, suppose what is the object, no? This is object. For image formation of any object, due to mirror, minimum two rays are required. Minimum two light rays are required to trace the image of an object. You see here, this is object. From the object, light rays should go and fall on the mirror. And they will converge at some point, somewhere. You see here, this is object. Topmost portion of the object, one light ray is going like this, straight and falling on the mirror. Here, angle of incidence is zero. So, angle of reflection also zero. So it is going, falling on the mirror and reflecting back like this. Okay. You take one more ray from the topmost portion. This ray is going and falling on the plane mirror. Here some angle of incidence. You see here, it makes some angle of incidence. This is a normal. This is normal to the mirror. So this ray making an angle of incidence with this normal. So it reflect with same angle of reflection. Angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. That I will explain later. So this ray is reflecting back like this. So here, this ray extrapolate back here. And this ray also, after reflection it is going like this, no? So extrapolate back. So it will reach at this point. At this point, from this point, this is image. So image of the object forms like this. This image is virtual image that cannot catch on the screen. Virtual image means image which cannot catch on the screen. So you are seeing the image of an object inside the mirror. If you try to catch, you cannot catch. It is erected and size is same as object. Object height how much is there? image height also same. The distance from the mirror to the object is x means distance of the image from the mirror is x only. Okay. Now you understand how image forms of an object due to a plane mirror. So minimum two rays are required. This is ray 1 and this is ray 2. You got it no? Okay. Now, you see down here, here one person is there. I have drawn it. Eh? I am not a good artist. But, I am telling this is a person. Why this is a person? Just like that. Okay? Because normally we are standing in front of the mirror, we are watching, no? So, this person is standing in front of the mirror. He is trying to see his full image. What is the basic question? 
what must be the minimum height of the mirror required to see the complete image of an object when you are going to purchase a mirror to see your complete image what must be the height of the mirror will it be equal to your height will it be more than your height or will it be less than your height how to find that we are going to find now you see here so here one person is standing is height h is equal to height of the object or person i am calling suppose he purchases a mirror equal to his height this mirror this is the mirror actually this is this side is reflecting surface this side is rough surface okay so height of the mirror also h okay now he is standing in front of the mirror and he is seeing his image so to see the image he should have eyes he should not be blind so here eyes are there okay this is eyes of the person the ultimately what are the rays going from the object and falling on the mirror it should reach the eyes then only we can see our image okay now i am dividing the height of the person into two portions from the eyes downward one portion from the eyes upward one portion okay so similarly from eyes to here this distance i am calling x plus x 2x from eyes to bottom this is from here to here this is y plus y 2y so height of the person or height of the object is equal to 2x plus 2y you got it now now we will see how image forms already i told to see the image light rays are going from the object and falling on the mirror and reflecting the topmost portion of the head of the person this no this point he want to see so when light rays going from the topmost point of the head of the person and falling on the mirror and reflecting back and it is reaching the eye means he is able to see this point so this portion no from here to here x this mirror is waste because light ray falling here and reaching the eye enough we don't require this portion x agree now you see here the bottom most portion of the person that is the is leg maybe toe of the leg so one light ray going from the toe of the leg and is falling on the mirror and reflecting reaching his eye so this portion of the mirror why not required getting or not now you see this portion y and this portion x not required what is required this portion x and this portion y is enough so h is equal to 2x plus 2y i have told no h is equal to 2 into x plus y x plus y is equal to h by 2 so this x plus y height of the mirror required to see the complete image of a person or an object must be equal to h by 2 so half of the height of a person or object getting or not so minimum height of the mirror required to see the complete image of an object must be half of the height of the object that is h by 2 okay that is x plus y is equal to height of the mirror required now you can go to shop and purchase the mirror which is half of your height or in your home who is the tallest person you purchase the mirror the mirror height should be half of the the tallest person in your house okay students now you go soon to the shop and purchase a plain mirror to see your complete image okay 
Now, plain mirror concept is over. In everybody, in every home, we have plain mirror only to see our image. We never try for concave mirror. Because you might have seen sometimes in the concave mirror, you may get scary. Because your image will not be as beautiful as you think. That is why we will not go for concave or convex mirror. But we will see the physics here. What is the physics behind this concave mirror and convex mirror? That I will explain now. You see this side? This is concave mirror. Okay? This is concave mirror. Why it is called concave mirror? The reflecting surface is concave. That is why it is concave mirror. This is curved surface, no? It is a part of a spherical shell. You can make one sphere, no, like this. I cut the sphere, one portion, like this. So it has become a concave. Reflecting surface is concave. That is why it is a concave mirror. Okay? So, it is a part of a sphere. It has a center also, no? This is center. C is the center of this curvature. And this distance from here to here or from here to here or from here to here. You can guess it must be radius. Okay? Now see here one point P is there. This point P is center of this geometry. Means this curved surface is there, no? This curved surface, the middle point is P. I am calling this P as pole. Pole of the concave mirror, which is geometrical center of the concave mirror. You know the point C, that is center of curvature. Point P, which is geometrical center. You join these two points, C and P. You, you draw a line like this. This line I am calling as principal axis. Okay? Principal axis is a line that is passing through the center of the curvature and pole. Agree? Now we will proceed. Now we are standing in front of concave mirror. Who is that object? OB. O means object. Here OB is height of the object. To see the image of this object, we required minimum two rays to trace the image. First we will see this. From the topmost point of the object, one ray is going. This is ray 1 and falling on the mirror. So here, this radius is there, no? So with radius, it is making some angle I. This is angle of incidence. And after falling on the mirror, it will reflect, no? This is angle of reflection. Angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. So this ray 1 going and falling on the mirror and it is passing through a point. This point F. This point F is called focal point. What is the so special of this focal point? You take any ray. This ray 1 no? Parallel to this principal axis. After falling on the lens, sorry, after falling on the mirror, it will pass us through a point. This point is called focal point. You draw infinite number of parallel rays parallel to the principal axis. It will pass us through this point. That is why it is called focal point. So I am defining a focal point when number of rays going parallel to the principal axis and falling on the mirror after reflection from the mirror they will pass us through a point that point is called focal point so ray 1 is parallel to principal axis so it will pass through f you take one more ray this is ray 2 and i am allowing it to pass through focal point so after falling on the mirror, it will become parallel to the principal axis. It is vice versa. If it is parallel and falling on the mirror, it will pass us through the focal point. 
or if a light ray passing through the focal point after, after reflection it will become parallel to the principal axis okay now you got a point now this is the common point for the ray 1 and ray 2 so this point is image where image forms you take one more ray also this ray 3 passing through the center of curvature and falling on the mirror this is nothing but radius no so it is going along the radius angle of incident is 0 so it will reflect back angle of reflection 0 so it will also pass through this point this point is called image where image formed I am calling this IM IM is image of object OB ok so OB is height of the object that is this IM is height of the image that is this PO from here to here that is object distance PI from here to here that is image distance PC that is radius of curvature PF from here to here focal length you are understanding no? how image formed due to the concave mirror but image is inverted you see object was like this it has become upside down image is inverted and size also reduced this height is more than this height now so when you are standing in front of a concave mirror this kind of changes you will observe you may be upside down you may be enlarged or you may be diminished that is why we will not dare to stand in front of a concave mirror and even we will not dare to purchase a concave mirror to see our image ok now further we will see you watch this video now I hope you understand about plane mirror and image formation what is the minimum height required to see your complete image and what is concave mirror in the next class I will discuss the relation between object distance image distance and focal point or focal length of a concave mirror till next video bye bye tata